welcome back to my channel. I am here with another creative video. I am really obsessed with how this turned out. I created this really pretty butterfly makeup look. I've been saying this all over Instagram and I keep saving them. And after my 10th save butterfly picture, I knew it was time to create it myself. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look today with a little twist with doing two different colors, then keep on watching. Alrighty guys, jumping into the tutorial. I like to do voiceovers whenever I'm doing creative tutorials just because I like to listen to music, get in the zone, get creative, and sometimes when I'm talking it just distracts me and my hands need to be steady. So anyways, I'm not gonna do too much of like a detailed demonstration technique talk through just because you guys can kind of see what I'm doing, but pretty much whenever you are replicating something, especially if it is real life, like a butterfly, it is the best to always have a reference photo in front of you so you can see exactly where you need to tweak, what you need to do, what the true authentic colors look like. Even if you're doing a makeup look inspired by another artist, it's always a good idea to have the actual picture of a butterfly so you can really see the true colors and the shape of the butterfly. So I'm just really taking my time. I'm using my Mayron water paint and I'm using the black and I'm just taking my time and just trying to carve out the wings right now. So the first thing that you always wanna do is start out with an outline before you move on. So before you get overwhelmed and you're like, what do I do next? Just take it one step at a time perfect that step before you move on and that way you know everything is going to be flawless to your abilities before you go to the next step. Alrighty, moving on to step number two. I'm going into my Mayron water paint once again and now I'm carving out a white base so the colors that we add on top are super vibrant and pigmented. Um, so I'm just really taking my time and with looks like this, it really, really matters what brushes you're using. The tinier, more detailed brush, the better, the more crisp and precise lines you're gonna have. So just pay attention to your brushes if you're ever doing like a winged liner or anything that has detail in it. So, and as you can see, I'm kind of cleaning up the black line while I'm doing this as well and making it really tiny, sharp, and precise. So that's also why I wanted to do this part second so that I could really kind of clean out, carve out, and make those black lines really nice. Moving on to the gorgeous butterfly wings. I was thinking about starting this with my Mayron colors, but I switched it out really quickly to my James Charles Times Morphe palette. And I was starting out with a fluffy brush and quickly I changed to a really dense brush. Since we are just doing this in such a small area, you really just wanna pack on the color so it is super vibrant and pigmented. So I'm first going into a red, then switching to an orange and then using a yellow in the very center. And whenever you're trying to blend a color, you always wanna do a red and then kind of layer the orange on top of the red and then drag it down a little bit and then layer the yellow on top of the orange and then drag it down a little bit. And that's what's gonna give you that really, really nice seamless blend. Okay, moving on to some nice little detail. I didn't wanna do anything too overkill with this look. I wanted it to be really Simple yet dramatic. This isn't simple. There's nothing simple about this look, but I meant in the details. So I'm just grabbing my NYX. Um, this is a white eyeliner. It's super intense and pigmented, and I'm just doing little dots, starting out really tiny and kind of gradually getting thicker and bigger as the wing gets bigger. Last but not least for my eyes, I'm just grabbing my eyeliner and this is by Maybelline and I'm just giving myself a nice little lined lash line so that when I put on my eyelashes, everything is going to be nice and seamless. And I am also pulling out my inner tear duct and I feel like that gives you kind of more an exotic look so it goes with this butterfly look. Okay, I'm gonna pop on some MOTD Cosmetics eyelashes. I actually just got these in the mail and they are new and I couldn't be more impressed. They look so stunning, they're so wispy and they're light, which is what I really, really like. 
Moving on to the face. I'm not doing anything too crazy on the face, so I'm just gonna go into my Makeup Forever bronzer, and instead of doing a cream contour like I normally do, I'm just bronzing on my face, keeping the face pretty soft and natural. So as I always do, I'm doing a three shape, so the top of my forehead, under my cheekbone, and under my jaw to snatch that double chin. Using the blush from that Makeup Forever palette, I'm just gonna dust this on the apples of my cheeks, not using anything super intense and pigmented for this blush, something pretty light. And then I'm gonna go into my Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Highlighter. I absolutely love this. I've been using it nonstop all summer. It just has a really great pearl tone. And if you guys didn't know, I just got a little puppy. This is Nala. She is a teacup Yorkie and she is so adorable. I am literally obsessed. So she'll definitely be making some appearances in my videos. She's just hanging out with me while I do my lips. So I'm going into my Pop Beauty Times Megs liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Pale Baby. I love this for any nude that I do. I usually put this as a base and then kind of mix a color on top. But this is just so great for my skin tone so I'm like obsessed with this shade. And then I'm just finishing this off with my Bare Minerals Smooch and I'm just putting this in the very center of my lips to kind of create this ombre, juicy, gorgeous, nude, I don't, I don't even know what else to say. It just, it's amazing. look let me know down below what you thought remember to subscribe to my channel and click the bell in the top right corner and you can be notified every single time I post I'm always so grateful for all of you that head over to my YouTube channel from my Instagram or wherever you found me from so thank you guys so 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 much I love you so much and I will see you guys in the next video bye I'll take